Okay, hello friends and followers. Again, the um, Central Electronics 100V transmitter. And my objective now is to get the VFO out of this rascal. And so the VFO is coming out because it was damaged in the UPS shipping. So I'll go over the steps again to remove the VFO quickly. You first want to get this little front guy out of here. So the front knob assembly comes off. This is held by two set screws which you access through this panel here. So you'll take out those two set screws. You'll just simply uh, get them loose, right? Get those loosened up and this comes off. Take out this plug from the top here. Take out the uh, RCA jack white one from the wire bundle. Okay, and then take these posts out. So there are some posts here that go to the VFO. And you want to get these posts out. They go to the VFO, and this VFO is kind of almost, well, it's kind of coming out now. So uh, let's get it back down here. So yeah, so these posts will attach the VFO to the uh, chassis. You want to take these posts all the way out. So there's a screw on the VFO here. There's a screw in the front panel here for those two posts. First, I'll loosen these screws here on the VFO, and then uh, take the post out by loosening the screw in the front, and the post will be removed. Put the post aside, and now your VFO can slide right out. The manual says to use newspaper for safety, which maybe you should do. Um, I find, though, that it comes right out. So the whole assembly can now be slid right out here, and you want to mind that you don't scratch this assembly here on these little plastic parts. So you have, and it, it also, you must take off the little chain. There's a chain that goes on here. Loosen that chain up and just lay it aside. I put the chain around this tube and there it stays. So now you wanna pull this out without scratching anything. And so you can grab the VFO, I guess I'm gonna grab it here on the, uh, the metal uh, keepers and remove it so just watch it doesn't scratch anything so I'm watching I'm, I'm thinking this would be the newspaper thing right here to avoid that from being scratched can I just come right out yeah you can take it out if you just go slow and careful without hitting anything I guess and I'm still watching it for scratching against something and the mylar will scratch also so now i'm just coming out straight with it and it comes right out so is it heavy it's sort of heavy okay there's your there's your vfo out of the uh 100v so that's it sure looks messy doesn't it so this can be cleaned up carefully, very carefully. However, in my case, the uh, mechanism is damaged, so yikes, what a mess this is going to be to fix. So I have to get in here and uh, muck around with the gears. Somehow this has been damaged from shipping. Okay, so there, there aren't many gears. There's, you can see this gear here is bent. It's off of the 90. And this gear looks fine, so gotta fix that one. I'm not sure what else is wrong in this VFO yet, but it's out. I can access it, I can work with it. Yeah, you can see that one, that one gear is bent and not making good contact with the other gear. So I hope this thing is fixable. I'm trying to see how these work. They're, they're set in a big piece of metal, so I'm going to guess that one of these gears is really bent. have to unbend it. Such is the joy of restoration and uh, fixing things. So, oh, look at that. So they have some, so they have a big dial light back there, too. There's a big old bulb back there, which, there's two of them. Wow, there's two big bulbs there. You can see the little bulbs, and so... I'll take those to LED if I can. Hopefully not 110 volt bulbs, but they're low voltage. They look like they're 
110 volt bulbs back in there. That's what was done back in the day, right? All right, anyway, this gives you a look at the VFO. There's the low voltage bulbs there. I don't know why that everything from that era has to go brown. All the uh, mylar goes brown. It's just, ugh. I don't think it came out that way from the factory, but it's just kind of icky looking. All right, well, this is a real solid VFO. Just a matter of uh, getting it working now, okay? Thanks for watching. Have a great day.